All right, it's about five, just past five. It is another weekend. I'm ready for another wash, so. So today, it's a little different. Uh, you may wonder what the hell is this? It's a, like one of those like bendable arm kind of uh, camera mount setups that I'm trying to see if it works. We'll see. It's for the GoPro that I have on my head and I kind of do want to like from time to time uh, mount it to uh, something, you know, besides my head. I do have uh, the pressure washer out today nonetheless. It's the car sure, uh, 1800 or whatever. I'm getting distracted. Like there's like, you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera, but there's like tiny little little bugs just like squirt, um, running around, like really tiny ones. They're like orangish. I don't know what the hell, hell they are. Like they're not, uh, what do you call those? Like aphids or anything like that? I'm, yeah, I have no idea what they are, but they're like running around. Maybe it's like too hot or something because it is pretty warm today. Uh, it's like past 80. Uh, it will be quite uh, different. We may see some water spotting because it is, like I said, warmer, but we'll see. But with the right tools, it won't be such an issue. So first things first, let's uh, get things set up here. So we are going to actually use something a little different as well when it comes to the chemicals. So today I'm going to actually use Carpool Reset Unfortunately, uh, I did use this another time, and the footage was lost because I was watch uh, I was watching uh, somebody's like BMW, and basically um, I used a foam wash for that time using Carpo Reese the very first time. Worked great, but I lost the footage because I was very disorganized with the footage at the time. But won't let that happen. So let me see here. So this uh, on top has the same thing um as like those like bottle proportioners works the same way i am going to put 40 milliliters in there in total for the bucket so just basically two of these because it is 20 millimeters max nothing too hard which is basically just over an ounce and we're gonna let this one soak we'll activate the foam later on so we don't have to worry about that. On top of that, we also have this to try. It's a new foam cannon I got. Uh, so why did I, did I get another foam cannon when I, have, when I already had one before? You know, I have the Griot's one. I bought this one specifically for future um, use, mostly for, um, for the uh, decontamination wash for my ceramic coating, which I'm about to get into. All right, anyway, that was somebody's BMW going off with their uh, alarm. I've never heard an alarm like that, ever. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is for like uh, Carpro D-Scale or whatever else chemical I'm going to use. And then I would switch over to my other foam cannon, my main one for like the neutral shampoo or whatever wash or whatever. Uh, this will probably like me be, be my like my acidic foam the acidic wash, and then the other one will be the alkaline wash. But uh, uh, what I'm gonna do here today is try it out, just to see. It does have a weighed ball, so that's pretty cool. It's from uh, Rain Covo. I'll leave, in the link, uh, I'll leave the link in the description. A little more. And eh, close enough, it's just about a thousand milliliters. And then uh, we're gonna put like, Another 40 in there. All right. I expect for it to not be like super foamy, but it'll be enough. It will be enough. And then what's neat about it is that it does have this thing right here. It's like a measuring cup in case you want to like put your chemical through there. So it's like a nice little option. Uh, this is about a thousand milliliters of water in here. So we do have it on max. All right, but really the main subject for this, but the main subject here, and basically uh, it's been three weeks since I've coated the car with a uh, DIY eight year ceramic. Uh, I haven't touched it since. The, whatchamacall. The only thing I've done was like a little bit of waterless wash here and there for to take off any like bird poo. That's the only thing I've done, but it's been, it's been cured like uh, three weeks. I haven't, I haven't done an actual wash in three weeks a little longer than usual so 
you kind of see that there's already some sort of uh, bird bomb right there. Dirt on the windshield. It's like fine dust this is sorts. It did rain at some point. You kind of get an idea of how dirty the car is. Let's go on the other side. All things considered though, it is pretty clean. And uh, there was one thing I was bloody curious about and it's the hydrophobics. So I'm gonna test it right now. First time reaction, I'm gonna go on this side. First time reaction, uh, here we go. Yeah, that's pretty good, all things considered. Oh man, you can see the how much dirt there is in the water droplets. It's like, wow. Let's test it off to the side. But yeah, looking pretty good though. It is beading, tight beads. Look at that. Oh, I can like see the like the dirt like being caught in the water, but that's basic stuff. Anyway. Let's get the foam on there. That is a lot thicker than I expected. <laughs> I just put 40 milliliters in there. Good God, it is super thick. I didn't think it'd be that thick. My, wow. It is carport Risa, it's not uh, incredible suds. Yeah, it's so thick that it's actually setting off my uh, my car lock. Jeez Louise. Okay, I'll give about like 30 more seconds, one minute at most. Good God. You know what's funny was that uh, people passing by, even one of my neighbors was noticing. People love foam, man. People love foam. YouTube loves it. It's uh, the universal thing, right? Time to rinse it off.
I guess it works like this. So, all right, I just put a little more in there. Let's see how it foams now. Just ran out. Okay. Oh yeah, super slick. Whew. We'll go around this way. Yeah, when it comes to the second foaming, I just get it on there. I'm not trying to like do the big coverage like I did in the first time. Because at that point, it's like, what's the point? Here we got everything off the car. Yeah, you see how it's like fighting the soap? Especially when it, uh, now that it's now th like thinner. Honestly, I think the wheels look fine. Like I uh, ceramic coated the wheels as well. I just blasted everything off the wheel. So, oh, just skip the wheel today. <laughs> so that's actually kind of a good feeling. It's really not that dirty. That's the thing, right, with ceramic coating. Now, it's not gonna last on the wheels as long because the heat, all that stuff. But nonetheless, it is nice to have on there. So it's better, better, definitely better than nothing for sure. It's more than, more than better.
Hmm. This grid guard is quite floaty. I don't know why it's doing that. I bought another one and it's just rising up. I'm not sure why it's doing that. My other one's been great. But this one's just keeps wanting to float up. Yeah, look at that, it's like fighting my stuff. That's how you know when the coating is working for sure. Yeah, look at that, so far. I know you might, you might not show up on the GoPro. It definitely is working. It's fighting the water, the soap. So I'm definitely happy with the DIY eight-year coating. Oh man, I hate electronic locks. But that is the nature of today's beast. I think it's about it. I always forget how messy it is. I actually forgot to um, pump it up. My detail keg. And I think we're done with the whatchamacall. Fresh washer for the day, as you can tell. I should have started on the other side since it's sunny over there, but it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I'm spraying rinseless to make sure we have no watermarks left behind. You know, from time to time, it's not so bad to foam, you know? Even though, yes, in theory, it is a little less efficient nowadays but it's cool it visually is fun to do
you may notice right it's got some wheels but it also has a bungee cord so yeah i actually found a bungee cord somewhere in my house or in my car rather and then this uh plant dolly i guess it's supposed to be was well, supposed to be for something else like a bucket but uh i'm gonna use it for the keg i'm gonna use it for the keg so it's already uh helping me out quite a bit that was like 18 bucks or something Should do like a quick, really quick wash. All things considered, honestly, like it just it feels like um, the cleanup, like clean, putting away the equipment, takes longer than washing a car. Now, that's what it feels like, anyway. Yeah, once again, I'm using Hero Rinseless as essentially a drying aid. Just to make sure, one, I have a safe drying process. Two, reduces the water spots even more because of its properties. That's cleaning a ceramic coated car, honestly. It's just so much more quicker or so much more efficient at the end of the day. Everything just flies off. Yeah, I did use the pressure washer today, so that did, that did help. But even before though, pressure, Washing a non corded car did take a little bit longer, in a sense. Definitely the wheels weren't like completely 100% like clean. There was a bit of film on it, but nothing these towels can't handle. No, that's, after this is pretty much it. That, that was like the quickest wash I felt like I've done. So I started around like 5.05. I mean, granted, yes, I didn't put any like protection or I didn't clay the car or anything like that. I did uh, I did all that stuff like with three weeks ago. On Memorial Day weekend. So but yeah under an hour all that stuff is done. There were some mishaps along the way. Mostly before the filming, but yeah. And just like that, clean car. Carpro reset, some rinseless wash as a drying aid. That is one clean baby right there. Clean Corolla. Yeah, happy, happy driver. Yep, 
that's clean a ceramic coated car for you. It's just makes things a whole lot easier once you get over that hill. When I did ceramic coated, I did have some high spotting problem. I actually forgot this entire window in the mirror. <laughs> I had to polish it and uh, do it over again, but came out pretty nice. So that is it. That's it for this wash. I know I didn't say much, but honestly, that's why I renamed it, the series to the wash just because of that. <laughs> but it is what it is. So with that, thank you very much. What do you guys think? Um, we tried out the new foam cannon. It, it performed very well. I think I actually need to dial down the, the thing because it went through a lot of product, that's for sure. And um, it worked more, more than expected, for sure, for a $20 can, uh, foam cannon with carport car reset of all things, right? It's not even that, uh, like, it's not known to like, set up like that or foam up like that. Although, I am using soft water, so I might be helping out, so. But anywho, that's it. Any comments, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Shout out.